NFL 24. And this will be to Shaquille Leonard, who had a strong showing last week with an eight tackle game. It's the Cards and the Falcons, and it's all up next. The weather this time of year in the south, perfect. Fall football weather, and we've got the roof wide open here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the heart of Georgia. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7, as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Falcons team as they interplay. They're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5-0 through the first month and change. And you can hang a lot of this early success on their defense, too. They're the tone setters for these guys, and the entire team feeds what off the of fuck? what they I do. didn't put those Meanwhile, jerseys on. I was putting all of their classics on. I hate those classics. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us-against-the-world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. That's cool. They're wearing all white. And no run I back on the opening ways, kickoff. Though. It'll come out to the 25. The Cardinals now getting set to go offensively, and it'll be the dual threat quarterback, Kyler Murray, leading the way. And last week's loss came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Continue to avoid turnovers and hope that what sunk them last week resolves itself this time around. First play from scrimmage. Here's Murray. Yes, oh, sir. First play of the game. Going to be intercepted. Ah, yes. He takes this one back into Thank the end zone. You. The Falcon defense has a touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back to the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. Defensively getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right oh, back shit. out on the field with a chance to atone. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Throwing now is Murray. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Back to Montgomery on second down. Not good. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. He had his eyes on the end zone once he hit the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got to figure out a way to make that at the point of attack, at the line of scrimmage, because once he gets through, he's shredding them. 
And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. On second down, Dillon. Tackle that motherfucker. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Mm, Drake Drake London. London. What his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it was finished off by a touchdown catch from Drake London. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. And coming up with an early season open week. And in this situation, what he told us when we sat down with him was he spent a lot of time working on fundamentals, kind of getting back to basics during that time, as opposed to having to worry about healing up or resting up. It's too early in the season. Get back to the basics, get his game going again. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something? And hit the high oh, he lost the football. It's loose. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. Well, oh, he's not the star. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Out of the gun now on third down. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Forced out to his left. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide. Able to find a lot empty space there picking up the first down at a 21 yard gain back to throw here and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete the Falcons at a perfect 5 and 0 here to begin the campaign and they come in with fresh legs they got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week and usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year but when you get a chance get your fresh legs back you have to take that time and run with it and that's what they're trying to get done here they do get a couple but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up they'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down on third down he'll drop to throw and that is incomplete but a penalty flag coming in this could be a first down so pass interference the call that's going to set him up with a first down and if it's a bang bang play maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket but instead he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football the officials letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter they'll drop to throw no oh goal. shit he lost the football and they'll start out with great field position at the 47 yard line in enemy territory Motherfucker. three and a half to go first quarter <laughs> 
Following that fumble recovery, it's Murray. Steps away to his left. Pass the 20. Good Lord. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Over the middle, he's got Chanel. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. There's Murray. And that is incomplete. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. And now out is the Cardinal field goal team here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top form. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about. The Burge Ron's got some more from being hurt been for weeks, so I well. guess. Now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense. They may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. Offense, they may go more on tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, my God, of course. And that is incomplete. Look at this uncovered. Arizona defense. Wide They've been pretty solid against the pass. Toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. Long oh, short pass. Fuck. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. As they've got it with a third down and long coming up. Though certainly in a pickle here. They have a mile to go to try to pick up the first. We'll see what they've drawn up. Now they go screen. It's complete. 14 yards, but they're still well shy of a first as that leads to fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Here's Jones. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And the Cards will take over, first and ten. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery runs over it. 
55 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Murray now on first down. Oh, he tried oh, to fit yes, it on the slant and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here on first down. His throw incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Fourth down, and the attention turns to Falcon kicker Young Way Koo. Koo knocks this one through the post. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal right there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Yeah. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and making sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Got his man complete doing? over the middle. That's Brown. Holding offense. Yes, sir. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Finds his man on the out route. It's Chenault. And he's out right at the 25. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Now Murray. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 23. A good head down running on the return gets about 15 yards. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. Dude. That's bottom shelf material. Here's second and seven. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. God damn, man. This throw's going to be incomplete. 
Had no command that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it. Just there. Absolutely. Just, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he fires one, but Good action out of bounds. Makes sense. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here's Jones on the return. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field Hell position, yeah. right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Murray now. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Good stop. He is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Here's Matt Arisen now. This is taken at the 15. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And it will be Falcon football. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. What is up with Drake May right now? First down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Kyle Pitts, the intended the receiver. Fuck, dude? And it's second down. Second down and ten. Robinson gets the toss on the right side. And the running lane's not existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Across the 45 before he's brought down. Nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16 yard gain. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he'll get it across midfield and down to the Cardinal territory. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks that like the ball was shaken up. Second down and four. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The throw over the middle, taken in, and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. First down, he'll drop to throw it. Flushed out right. Let's see. Touchdown! Kyle Pitts, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Falcons have broken our tie. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie. Because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, 
you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen, put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. Come on now. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On second down, here's Murray. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Third down, they go Montgomery. Motherfucker. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. Matt Ariza now on to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Taking it about the 16. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give him nine, though, on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. <laughs> and that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Most of the on that last one. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. I did not see that. tries to force it in and it's intercepted. God damn it. with a pick. Now the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. And caught by London. The Cardinals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. First down, Murray. Oh, <laughs> will go down. Sacked back at the 31. Now the card's going to call another timeout. Their second as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on second and long. Murray. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the completion good for just three. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Shotgun now for Murray. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will cut this lead back down to four now at 17-13. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And the Falcons going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. 
I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. Yeah, he's got Smith oh, and get, get out of bounds. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. We'll get started over at the Superdome in New Orleans. And it's the Bills who have the lead in that one. Stephon Diggs, a touchdown reception. Next, we head up to the Windy City. Check on the Bears at home. Soldier Field. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Jalen Hurts has thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Christian Watson, over 100 yards receiving and a touchdown catch as well. We're just about set to get back to it. Both teams making their final adjustments, and we'll head back to Atlanta and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons' offense now. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know, the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. A good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy they didn't let it pop for anything bigger. Ball on the 27. Here's second and six. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. Oh, to him. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Go Hopefully, this. obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. So a change of possession here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. On first and 10, here's Murray. This is Chenault on the receiving end. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second and five. Now Murray off play action. It's caught. It's Chanel again. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 
They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. Just more of the same here. That's back-to-back -back catches for him to start the drive. They've looked his way quite a bit and with good reason as this duo picks up yet another first down. Murray Fucking break on the ball. London. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's right there, you see it coming. Territory now. Here's first and ten at the 47. Oh, God, that face. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they can let a tackle through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Murray. Of course. Pass taken in by his Not American. Yeah, that was his fucking body. The way down inside the 20. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Throwing on first down is Murray. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second down and eight. From the gun, Murray. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Back to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. And his kick is indeed good, and that'll bring him back within a point. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes. Yeah. And, he and for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Atlanta regains possession of the football. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards to gain the first here. 
Robinson will try to pick it up. Motherfucker, man. From the start, as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's going to punt it. Oh, the return is Jones. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe roar down the other defense. We'll see. At the 36-yard line. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. A give for Dylan running right. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is to let the linebackers set the edge. Play fake. Murray. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. It's a pickup of six. Play action. Now it's Murray. Throw left side, there's London. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. Brought down on the play by Trenton Simpson. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. To throw is Murray. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Cover man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? <laughs> too much. To get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. To throw, it's Murray. Damn. In the middle of the field, he's got a man to play. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 24-yard line. A nice pickup of 17 yards. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these oh, situations. Shit. First day. Thank they God. build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. Murray now on first down. Short throw to Disley. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Short completion, just four yards, and it brings up third and five now. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Toss left to Montgomery. And he will be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Got stopped, would have liked the touchdown, but hey, field goal gives you the lead and let your defense do the work. 
The one thing to keep in mind, though, the field goal is not automatic. You've got to make sure you protect your kicker here so you don't have a block, which turns into a big play. But you're exactly right. Kick it, rely on your defense. This is the proper play here in this situation. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. Now a play fake here on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Now a dump off here complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. He's across midfield, and he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big play there on the catch and run, 36 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Again, he'll drop to throw. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line. Ten more there and another first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch them drive for what would be a go ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Second and seven. At the Cardinals, 19-yard line. Back to throw again. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. From 19 yards away. And the Falcons have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. This has definitely been a back and forth affair, and now they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they gave up the field goal on that last drive, as we remember, but it felt like their offense told them, don't worry about it, we got your backs. We'll come back with a touchdown of our own, and they did. Coup now for the point after. up to five. A drive that time of six plays. And the end result in a great touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Murray now on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to his no, tight end. Hurdle out there and we on his goddamn after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, Montgomery. Great move by Montgomery. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 87 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Murray now to throw. And he 
last tackle. Oh, a couple of sets of that we've got. This over becoming rare by the year to see the franchise guy take a hit like that. The defender couldn't believe he had a shot to light him up. So when you take off and run, you have to make sure you can slide, get out of bounds, anything. Just don't leave yourself open to hits like that. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Murray. Damn, how'd you get lost like that? Able to find the open man. That's complete. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21 yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Up the middle they run. Here's Dylan. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. If you're going to run against this unit, especially down here, just beware. I mean, they're the top rushing defense in the league. Yeah, and then they go ahead and they double down with the whole thing because you think, okay, let's throw the ball. Oh, yeah, that's right. They defend the pass pretty well, too. Very difficult task right now. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And his kick here is good. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles. If their defense hadn't been able to hold them to a field goal on the other side, they'd be good. But now it's about preserving that very small lead. It is preserving and maybe stretching it out a little bit because if you're a starter on that side of the ball, I certainly hope you didn't loosen up your shoulder pads to start to cut the tape off because if you did, you did it way too soon. They've got to go back out there with renewed vigor for lack of a better term, but also a good plan. They need points, and they need them now. But they certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the fullback. Just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It's Saban Collins who got in there to get the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Nope. What the fuck is your deal, Jordan? Back to back. He had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down by two. 2.05 to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. First down, Murray. Looking down, oh, yeah. it's incomplete. He was waving his arms on the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of the story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass and you blew coverage on, what did you say to it? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, <laughs> but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. Well, To throw is Murray. Escaping the pressure running. Right. Able to push his way wow. through. And he gets this one just shy wow. of 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They're not out 
to be yet, but in order to come back, they need to play clean football the rest of the way. He makes a correct read there, passing on challenging a blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. London holds this one in, and he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Now second and four. Murray to throw. Complete to Chanel. They make it steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about the clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Now here's a throw that's complete. Here comes second down. Back to throw. Murray. Dancing to his left. Where are you going? And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 24-yard line. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Back to Montgomery on second down. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. And his kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop. Trailing by a point after the made field goal. A little over 20 seconds to go. Their undefeated season, it's in danger unless they can score here as they've got a first and 10. Should have known that was going to happen. Seconds remaining now. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get the midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. He'll look to throw. He's Ooh, gonna I thought he was running just to go. God damn, it's right there. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Maybe looking for a flag, but they're not going to get one there. They took a shot, hoping to find a way to sneak into field goal range, but it's incomplete. And now with time almost gone, the task gets much more difficult. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Wow. Good block for And they turn it over. They had to mm. go for it with such little Shit, I didn't even that was fourth down. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And this not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job done. And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours. 
right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually rehearse.